Hi everybody. Hi Dr. Nick! Hope you're all having a good week. I just thought I'd make this video because a lot of people have requested me to talk about how to integrate a psychedelic trip. A lot of people have these really profound insights into reality, the self, the universe, etc. Just every facet of life really. Um, but then they come away from this deep experience feeling confused or chaotic and not being able to put all these insights into an orderly fashion and integrate them into their lives. So I thought I'd just give a little bit of advice based on some of my experiences in the past and also just some of the stuff I've read online and books, just general, uh, just general life experience really. So first thing I'd probably say is, let's give an example of something that happened in my life is that in the in the tr uh, my personal stories uh, on the channel, the Panic on the Streets of Manchester and the Brink of Insanity and the Boomtown video, uh, amongst others that I've not actually written yet. So in all three of those videos, I had unbelievably deep insights into the nature of reality and uh, higher states of consciousness. And coming down from th that state, that extremely heightened state and going back into ego uh, mind was pretty pretty jarring to say the least and it left me it left me with a lot of suffering for quite a few, well the first one the, the the one that happened the brink of insanity uh, that left me with a, a great deal of suffering that ended up affecting the next trip the uh, the panic on the streets of manchester one where i was running around naked peeking on like 450 ug tabs and obviously it, it ended up being quite traumatic but over the years um, since that happened, that happened in 2017, each year got easier and easier and easier. I'd say even every like six months, half uh, every half a year got easier for me because I decided that I was actually going to integrate these deep insights rather than just leave them in the back of my head like I imagine like a lot of uh, people who take psychedelics and have these scary like ego death experiences do. So basically the big thing to do really is uh, establish a establish a mindfulness practice um, if you don't know what mindfulness is basically it's the quality or state of being conscious or aware of something it's when you're honing in in the in the here and now the present moment you're acknowledging and accepting your feelings your thoughts sensations it's very, very therapeutic and it also cuts through the bullshit of the ego to get through to the the juicy center where all them deep insights and kernels of knowledge that the psychedelics leave you with are so yeah getting mindful is a, a big important part to integrate uh, all these insights because when you get to the nitty-gritty of it you will again dampen the ego and you'll bask in this knowledge uh, and the ego won't taint it because at the end of the day that's what's tainting all of these experiences of yours that's what's coloring them in a negative light and that's one of the best ways to work through trauma is to be mindful and conscious of what's gone on and how it's affecting your life and how you can recover from it and how you can transmute it into something positive. So being mindful will uh, throw the ego out for uh, a brief while and that will let you hone in uh, on your own consciousness. And then I'd say it's important to then top that off with a meditation practice. There's so many great avenues to get into meditation now. There's them apps, isn't there? That Calm and Headspace, they really help. Uh, I personally find just just literally doing it uh, without the help of anything else is more beneficial for me because uh, sometimes that can be a distraction, I think, uh, personally, for me. Uh, but for you, it might end up helping you out uh, quite a lot because a lot of people do need guidance through this stuff. A lot of people have never meditated in their lives. Um, so, yeah, meditation is very important because then that will allow you to reflect back on your experiences, uh, cut through any of the negativity that might uh, be lingering from them because obviously even though you have these beautiful deep insights, they can also be littered with some like negative aspects. And oftentimes, yeah, that is, well, I'd say 99% of the time, it's the ego tampering with it trying to basically stop you from realizing the deepest insights about reality because again the ego wants to be separate from uh, everything else surrounding it. Um, in general though when you're tripping I'd say don't change anything while you're tripping. Um, don't try to indulge in like your ego's desires like anything that's tiny to this reality so I don't know something to do with work or 
your relationships or your possessions or anything just try and like focus in on like your own consciousness and try to understand more about reality and when you're doing this in the future when you're coming down from a trip uh take some serious time to reflect on that trip such as uh taking notes mentally or on paper on paper is very uh very helpful because it, again it will like re-solidify all these things that you've understood about your life and the universe because at the end of the day the is, you, your mind is going to become bogged down with uh with thoughts and and experiences and feelings that will overshadow it um reflect upon what the big themes of your trip were and what they try to tell you about your life maybe how about try how they're trying to uh bring a new light to any trauma you might have experienced what you can take away from that and what you'd like to do with these insights because at the end of the day the whole point of integration is you want to uh, embed these insights into your life so that they actually change the way you live to live a happier more positive more uh, holistic connected life um, so that's really important to just reflect over it immediately just try and immediately write stuff down once you've had a trip and just keep look, looking at it over the next few days. Contemplation is probably the absolute key. Um, this is absolutely my favorite way to integrate psychedelic trips. And even to this day, even though I haven't tripped like heavily in, in a very long time, or like over a year now since my extremely heavy 4ACO DMT trip, I still am integrating it uh, on a micro level now because my favorite thing to do to integrate, um, if you have a car, the best way to do it is if you've got any free time, uh, go out at night or at midnight when there's no one about and just drive around for ages, maybe listening to like your favourite music, or your music that allows you to think deeply and uh, feel uh, deeply into your emotions and your consciousness, maybe stuff like, I don't know, uh, I find IDM, the intelligence dance music genre works very well, like Aphex Twin or shoegaze or anything that just sort of puts me in a dreamy ethereal state and then um, rather than focusing in on all like the elements of the music it can be quite like relaxing and therapeutic you want stuff like that I'd, I'd recommend and then just contemplate on all the things you've experienced with with trips and hone in on them and think about how you can actually interweave them into your life and how it can make it better and just Get deep, get deep into your consciousness, try and filter out all this other shit that your ego wants to think about, like, hmm, what am I having for lunch tomorrow, and all this stuff, just literally hone in on consciousness and reality and, and life and all the beautiful, deep aspects of that, and then over the next few days, um, weeks, months, years of these deep psychedelic trips, try to come back to the very core material of the trip and observe if you're satisfied in the direction that you're going You're going in with integrating these insights. Because obviously some of your insights might actually be quite silly and um, uh, inappropriate and possibly discardable by that point in time. Um, some of them, yeah, will be really helpful for you in your life and enhance them in ways but some of them might be quite useless and again it might have been the ego interfering in that uh just basically yeah for a big another big thing is to follow your heart and your gut trust your intuition and you'll be able to eventually use your consciousness because your consciousness is absolute and the most intelligent thing in the in the whole universe so you do literally have the power in you no matter how much ego or traumatic baggage you have you eventually do have the power to sift through all that and is it oh, that phrase separate the wheat from the chaff and see what the really juicy like gems are that are, reside in your consciousness from your uh, psychedelic trip and another really important thing to do i'd say is if you've had a really big profound trip whether it was on a higher dose or uh, a semi common low dose check in with your consciousness with a even lower dose than that just to re-clarify any of these insights but without any of like say the mind fuckery um aspects of it that can be really helpful to get back into that view from above and it'll really enhance your ability to integrate because obviously again I, I always reiterate how important it is to not just like jump into high doses at all because to be honest you don't actually need a high dose to have these really deep profound uh, realizations about life and yourself 
on you don't need them on a higher dose you, if you have the right set and setting and intention and you again filter out all the distractions and egoic bullshit then a low dose of like even 100 micrograms of lsd can reveal to you the nature of like say god the universe etc um yeah you don't really need a massively high dose uh, unless unless you've got some serious serious ego traumatic baggage and then maybe you might need a higher dose in like a very safe setting to cut through it all but for the most part you a lot of you are already on the path aren't you so yeah i would suggest just taking it safe with a lower dose and uh keep integrating over and over and over again and contemplating deep meditating on psychedelics obviously very powerful as well uh, that can really just that can just cut you straight through to an ego death in the most like in the most smooth, uh, acceptable manner, rather than it just sort of coming out of nowhere, in a sense. If we're going even deeper and we're trying to work through trauma, um, there's a really cool method called meta acceptance, which is basically to total and absolute acceptance of yourself in all situations. And practically, practically, this means that whenever you're feeling down or you have like low confidence, you can accept yourself without judgment and accept the suffering and accept the the ego trying to mess with your head and and stunt your growth. If you accept that and actually feel into it literally and fully, you'll often notice that you actually overcome it because again, suffering is a really important teacher, but yeah, love is an even greater teacher. So in a way, yeah, if you're suffering, yeah, that's going to it's going to teach you like some lessons but obviously it might not appear whilst you're actually suffering it might just feel like oh i'm needlessly suffering and i'm a bad person and um, if you actually love that process and you think oh stop don't think of yourself like that you're you're way more than this you're everything you love you're the universe your totality if you keep doing this then eventually every like negative situation in your life you can actually overcome in a very like deep profound way in that you realize the inherent love in everything going on and that can be very powerful to work through trauma um i'm i'm not experienced personally like any extreme trauma so i i don't want to go about go about saying i know the be all and end all of all this because at the end of the day i don't um, obviously need to look more into it maybe in the future do a bit more say like how to work through your shadow because that's another thing you should look up I reckon as well even if you're even if you're just generally contemplating like insights you should also look into shadow work because I guarantee there are parts of your psyche that haven't been fully uh, fully connected with each other because at the end of the day there's always going to be a part of yourself on the macro level of the universe that you reject that you're going to need to accept so yeah, psychedelics are really important for that, but they're also very, can be very dangerous because if you go in with a lot of shadow work and you've got also a lot of like, uh, you've also got a very solid uh, ego, high amounts of ego, then that's gonna, eventually, that could end up, uh, that could end up producing a very uh, traumatic situation, much like how I did when I was running around naked and all the other times I've had ego deaths try like, get people to give me knives to like kill myself and all this and yeah it's really it can get really dark but at the end of the day it's just trying to it's just bringing it's just bubbling stuff up to the surface that you don't want to accept or work through in your ego sober mind because again society doesn't tell you anything about this and that's what's so powerful about psychedelics and why they are like sort of a quote-unquote shortcut to sorting yourself out but at the end of the day you need that you need that foundation of uh, a meditation practice or any sort of practice working on your life purpose, becoming more creative in your life, more loving, um, and that will that will help. All of these little aspects that you do of this uh, integration work will coalesce into something really beautiful. Maybe a week, weeks or months or years down the line, depending on how much you need to do. So, yeah. Uh, for me, the number one of, in, in, personally in my life is just yeah, again driving at night. If you don't have a car or anything, just or just get a bike or go walking at night. Uh, obviously, be careful if you're walking at night, depending on where you live. But uh, try to go somewhere that's really relaxing and you feel like you can let go. Um, obviously, walks in nature are absolutely amazing for this. I mean, I, I absolutely love hiking and etc. And that's like one of the best ways for me to integrate deep insights that have just come come to me either just randomly whilst I'm sober or that have come straight after a psychedelic trip but yes driving at night is absolutely amazing possibly the most relaxing thing in the world for me I can just do it for like hours on end um, 
And if you don't have a car, obviously there's all these other options for you as well. I hope this helped in some way uh, and that I wasn't just rambling. If you'd like to see more videos like this, talking about working through all the weird revelations that you have on psychedelics, then please let me know in the comments and also talk to me about how you've also accomplished some of these feats in your own life, about how you've overcome sort of these dark periods after psychedelics and how you've uh, reintegrated them and sorted them out. So yeah, hopefully this wasn't a load of shit, but if it was, then definitely let me know because I'll never do it again. But if it was good, then I'll definitely do it. So yeah, be beginning to go off, off topic again. So I'll just shut this video off right now.